down south park and meet some friends of mine what's going on everybody welcome back to dash reacts today let's check out the south park episode erection day let's do this Okay, kids, as your counselor, Mr. I know it can sometimes be difficult to talk about subjects like drugs and sex and alcohol. Last week, I told you to write down any difficult questions you had and put them in this box anonymously so we could discuss those questions in class, okay? Mr. Mackey is gay. <laughs> okay, kids, that's not funny, okay? This box is supposed to be used for serious questions, okay? Let's, let's stop the tomfoolery. Okay, I'll the real one here. Well, here we go. Okay, Mr. Mackey. Sometimes my parents hit me, and you were gay. <laughs> so Damn, dumb. Is there not one serious question in here? Mr. Mackey is gay. Mr. Mackey is gay. I am a boy at South Park Elementary. Sometimes when I'm sitting in class, my penis becomes hard for no reason. What should I do? Hmm. <laughs> Alright, kid, right, kid, that's enough. Uh-oh. If you all can't be serious about the question box, then we'll just do drug identification exercises, okay? Aww. Jimmy, why don't you come up here and write down the name of two narcotics? Why does it always happen like that? It's almost like the teachers knew. Like there's some kind of boner radar that goes off in their minds that tells them to call on you just at the right time when you're at full mast. That's okay, Mr. Mickey. Jimmy, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. Uh oh. Uh, just, uh, not right this second, Mr. Mackey. Well, why the hell not? Uh. Is what? Oh, you do? R right now, right now it is? <laughs> yeah, okay, don't worry, Jimmy. Uh, Eric, why don't you come up here? Hey, that's bullcrap. How come Jimmy didn't have to do it? Well, because uh, Jimmy's pitching a tent right now. Oh, did what? you call him out? That's messed up. All school talent show this Friday. Give certificate to South Park Mall. Maybe we should do the talent show. Well, what's the point? Jimmy always wins with his stand-up comedy. I don't know how you do it, dude. How do you get up in front of that many people? Well, fellas, entertainment is my life. I love being in front of everyone. No. Eh, uh, what's the matter? G gotta go. See you, fellas. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. I've been there, Jimmy. Why does he always pee like Boy, that? Did you see that first prize for the talent show? Well, you must be excited. You'll probably win like always. Yeah, yeah, I'm real excited. Real excited, for some reason. <sighs> hey, Jimmy, how was school? Fine, Mom. Jimmy, we understand you're getting erections in the classroom. Oh, man. What? Who told you that? Mr. Mackey, your counselor. Oh, of course he did. Jesus! And if you two don't like it, you can just pass the blunt to the next on your left. <laughs> now, Jimmy, it's nothing to be ashamed of, but we know it's something you might have a hard time talking about. Get it? A hard time. <laughs> so we took the counselor's advice and called Dr. Pal to help us all talk about this. D Dr. Pal? Hey, Jimmy, I'm Dr. Pal. That's because I'm a doctor, but I'm also your pal. Are we cool? Uh, sure. A lot of times parents call me in because I can relate to younger kids. I'm, I'm down. I'm dope. You dig? Now, I understand you have some concerns about erections. Oop, can't say erection in front of the parents, right? Oh, God, it feels so weird, huh? Well, a little, yes. It's just part of growing up. Growing up? Growing out is more like it. Oh! <laughs> Tell you what, Mom and Dad, why don't you skedaddle for a tick and let us hipsters talk in Prevo? All right, come on, honey. Jimmy, as you get older, your body goes through a lot of changes. Certain hormones start to release as your whole reproductive system begins to awaken. And so if you like, we can take off our shirts and kiss. <laughs> This silly ass show. No, I do not want to take Dr. off my shirt and kiss. Well, then to hell with you, kid. You can just deal with your problems on your own. Put your hands together for the incredibly talented Jimmy Vollmer. Wow, what, what a great audience. So apparently Martha Stewart is out of jail. Have, have you heard about this? Have you seen this? There's a lot of fun and interesting ways we can decorate our queefs and just make them more dynamic for the holidays. She's very excited to get started on her new show, Martha Stewart Living with an electronic ankle bracelet. <laughs> so it looks like the Vatican has finally chosen a new pope. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? <clears throat> Uh-oh. Uh, apparently they're going to call him New Pope and refer to John Paul as Pope Classic. Uh, 
uh, so, so oh, it no. looks like Michael Jackson is having back problems in court. You know, uh, you, you know what they say about <laughs> back problems. <laughs> Uh, kill uh, somebody with that thing. What, 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 Don't worry, Jimmy. We're not laughing with you. We're laughing at you. Messed <laughs> <laughs> it up. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Lou, 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 I've got some apples. Lou, 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 you've got some too. Oh. Lou, 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 uh. let's get together. Oh. I know what we can that do, is. Lou, Lou. Oh, oh hey, Lou, Lou, Lou. I'm just practicing for the talent show. I really need to talk to somebody, and I think maybe you're the only person who won't make fun of me. Oh gosh, I'd never make fun of somebody with a problem. So then how come you came? Well, because I said I would. Do you know what you're supposed to do when your penis gets hard? Well, sure I do. Really? Oh. Yes, okay. sit down, Jimmy. We should have a little let's, talk. Let's hear this. When a man's penis becomes hard, the man puts it into a lady, into her vagina. Okay. Then, the hard penis sneezes milk inside the lady's tummy. And after it's all done sneezing milk, the penis stops being hard. And the man loses interest in the lady. <laughs> so, when your penis becomes hard, you're supposed to put it in a lady's vagina. I mean, Butters isn't wrong, per se. But it feels like the information is just a, a little bit incomplete. And then it stops being hard? That's right, Jimmy. But where am I going to find a lady to stick my penis in? The talent show is this Friday. Oh my goodness. <laughs> To you, Bertha. Okay, see you later, Jesse. Is he gonna try to fight? Hey, Bertha. Oh, hey, Jimmy. What's going on? I was wondering if I could stick my penis in your vagina. <laughs> what? No way! <laughs> but the talent show is tomorrow. Oh, jerk! <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, what the hell are you doing, man? I'm trying to get laid. What's it look like? Dude, you don't just go up to a girl and ask her if you can stick your penis in her vagina. Y you have to ask her on a date. Take her out for some Italian food. Have you gotten laid before? Sure, lots of times. I've been laid like 5,000 times. But it's very important that I score tonight. Can you come on the date and help me? You're like a white hitch. Get out. Well, sure, they do this all the time a in movies and TV hitch. shows. You go on the date and wear an earpiece, and I'll be nearby secretly telling you all the right things to say. Together we could make one mighty hero of romance. I wonder how this Shana, is going to turn honey, out. I think your little date is here. Okay, Mom. <laughs> hey, Jonah. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Giant headphones. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> First off, tell her how good she looks. Wow, Shauna, you look fantastic. Thanks, Jimmy. Welcome to Bucca di Fagaccini for the Authentico Experience Italiano. Does that My name, name sound Roma. right to you? Can I start you out with some lots of pasta macaroni minis? You know that girl, Sally Brahman, at our school? I can't stand her. Jimmy! Jimmy, even though what she's saying now isn't interesting at all, you say, wow, that is very interesting, please tell me more. Wow, that is very interesting, please tell me more. Really? It's like I told Debbie, if you're gonna go out with my friend... All right, Jimmy, when she finally shuts her trap again, I want you to repeat whatever she said and then follow it with, wow, how insightful. And so if you're gonna be that way, I don't need to be your friend. If you're gonna be that way, I don't need to be your friend. Wow, how insightful. You know, Jimmy, you are a great <laughs> listener. Really? Yeah, I mean, no other boys really communicate like you do. Oh, I'm so glad you think so, Shorna, because I really want to stick my penis in your vagina. Oh, no, yes, no, no, no. Jimmy, what? I'm not doing that. But the talent show is tomorrow night. Creep! Oh, ah. He jumped the gun. <laughs> okay, first up we have Billy Turner from the third grade who will be doing an alto sax solo. <laughs> well, we covered her ears. <laughs> Jimmy Vollmer? Oh. Hi, Officer B B B Bob Eddie. Jimmy, what are you doing out here? The talent show is in Soy. I'm not going to perform in the talent show. <laughs> I just can't risk getting up in front of everyone. Why? All right, I, I keep getting an erection for no reason, okay? But I can't get any of the girls here to let me do it to him. Well, of course not, Jimmy. Little girls don't want to have sex. Then why does God make it so that my penis gets hard if girls don't want to have it in their vaginas? It's like a cruel joke. Well, Jimmy, the girls here are young and pure. They're not like the ladies down at Colfax Point. C Colfax Point? Well, don't, yeah, those don't, women will don't. have sex with anybody. Really? Maybe I can catch the bus and get down there before the talent show ends. No. Thanks, Officer Bob Brady. You're welcome, Jim. Did you just send this boy? Bar Wait. <laughs> Colfax Point. Oh, boy. Pimps and hoes and tricks in rows. 
Women walk the streets with corns on their feet. The names change, but the game remains the same. Broken dreams uh, and no uh, ice creams. What you looking is this for a date? Uh. Hello? Hello? I need to put my penis in a woman's vagina. Any takers? Excuse me, ma'am. What's your name? They call me Nut Gobbler. What do you mean by that? Well, Nut Gobbler, <laughs> I need to get late. <laughs> you got money? Sure do. All right, you got a place to go. Sure, I know the perfect place. Welcome to Buca di Fagaccini for the authentic experience of Italiano. My name is Close Walmer. your legs! And, oh, it's nice to see you again, Mr. Walmer. Hey, can it, Jackass? I don't want him to know I was just here with a different girl. What are we doing anyway? This is authentic Italian food straight from Sicily. You should try the Latte Mozzarella Pizza Roll. <clears throat> I can't eat too much. I've got an infected urinary tract. I've been pissing blood for a week. Oh, uh, wow, that is very interesting. Please tell me more. I gotta use K-Y jelly, goddammit. Because <laughs> my shit is dried up. Kid, I'm a hooker. You don't have to take me to dinner or be nice to me. <laughs> what? For real? You paid me, so you gotta do me. It's that simple. Well, jumping Jesus, what are we wasting our time here for then? The talent show is happening right now. Let's get to ramming. What are you doing, ho? You're supposed to be working for me. It's where the trick wanted to go, you bastard. Trick? I ain't stupid. Ain't no trick gonna take you out to dinner. This pimp is trying to steal you away from me. A pimp gotta control a bitch's mind. Know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. You coming on right now. Ah, let go of my hair, you son oh, of a no. bitch! Sir, sir, that is my hoe. <coughs> I'm gonna kick your ass, huh? Sir, sir. <laughs> Lying sir. beside you, here in the dark, feeling your heartbeat and mine. Lying beside you. Follow that pimp and hoe. It's gonna be a car chase Where over? are you taking me? I'm gonna kill you, huh? No, please, chew money. I'm sorry. Always goes over Get the top. Grab onto my crutch. Get your ass back in here, ho! Ah! I got you, nut goblin. <laughs> ah! Oh, the angles. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, the god kids. Not gonna be in the talent show. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll never be in your talent show. Okay, that was the goth kids with talent shows are for fat. <laughs> that was killer. We showed them. Yeah, I hope we win. Look out! Not good. It's <laughs> 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 not where you want to be. Let's go, Butters. There's our boy. <laughs> Uh, oh no! No, 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 no! Everyone knows it's Butters! No! Butters. Okay, thank you, Butters. Very nice. Short and sweet. God damn, this pimp just don't give up! It's not worth it, Jimmy. <laughs> How much do I owe you? Six dollars and twenty-four cents. Can I just get two back, please? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> There you go, have a good one. Thank you. You're gonna pay for this, bitch. No, help! That guy's night is ruined. Who had his head stuck? Do you know what you are? You're a bunch of fuck cockroaches. You need people like me. You need people like me so you can punch your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. <laughs> so say good night to the bad guy. So say good night to the bad guy. I'm sorry I resorted to calling you jackass just now, but I'm very upset. And what are you gonna do, huh? I got four feet on you and a gun. What do you have? What do I have? The weapon of comedy. So apparently the Chinese and the Japanese aren't getting along lately. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? I'll tell you one thing. Their food hasn't been getting along with my stomach for years. <laughs> That's pretty good. Martha Stewart is out of jail. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? She's apparently gotten real good at baking cakes with keys in them. <laughs> You're right, you son of a bitch! Nice teamwork, nut gobbler. I can't believe you chased me all this way. You... you really care about me. Not really. You're just a hooker, and I need to get laid. The talent show could be over any minute. That's good enough for me. Take me to bed. Cut it out! Oh, 
Phil. Dad! Anyone like a dad? Okay, very nice, Ike. Thank you. The talent show is over. Hold everything. Mrs. Garrison, if you don't mind, I'll be taking that microphone. Okay, let's put our hands together for Jimmy Vollmer. Wow, what a terrific audience. So apparently it's been exactly two years since the fall of Baghdad. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Just as B B Bush predicted, Baghdad fell, Iraq fell, Saddam fell. The only thing that didn't fall was the price of gas. I just read in the paper that China's protesting Japan. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Yeah, I guess in China you don't get to... Huh? I thought... You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> that episode was funny as hell. Great recommendation. More like these, please. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.